Hey Sammy friends, welcome to the Joyous Sammy with Rachel. I'm Rachel Kuhn and it's our fun fold Friday. Today I'll be using three different, maybe even four different retiring items that will be no longer available by May 2nd. Going to hold my flip and we'll get started. So you can see everything okay today's card is super cool and awesome and fun and can be made with any of our stamp sets dies and punches but today I am using the sweet as a peach stamp set that will be retiring here and May 2nd or it could be gone even sooner depending on how supplies and how long they will last uh, along with that one I have the um, has tulip dies. I grabbed the wrong dies. That's too funny. These ones are not retiring, so you're safe. But I have peach dies as well that are part of this last chance list and this DSP right here, which I'll show you in just a minute. But before I get too started into our card today, let me remind you to please comment. Comment during my live, comment after live. You have until midnight tonight in order to comment and you have the chance to win today's card, which is pretty awesome. This is called a TP card. And as you can see, it can stand up all by itself. It has three different sides for us to decorate. And awesomely enough, opens up like so to an inside that's kind of weird, but there's the front side. Then if you want to send it in an envelope, you just fold it in half like that, and it will fit perfectly in a little envelope, and you can send it in the mail. I do suggest using a non-machinable stamp when you send this one in the mail, just because it has those magnets and you don't want it to get stuck going through the, the scanning things at the post office. All right, let me go ahead and show you um, I, the stamp set a little bit. I've used the peach for this one and the little leaf and the have a peachy day. And then my dies, I don't know where I put those, so we'll show you the paper first. The paper is called Your a Peach. It's this beautiful, beautiful paper. Um, it has a coral, clips of coral, the balmy blue, some of the pear pizzazz. Just this beautiful, beautiful paper that we're featuring in our card today. And this is actually on sale. So it's not the usual, I think $11, I think it's about $9 for all of this paper. It's a 12 by 12 size and it is gorgeous. All right, let's go ahead and show you our pieces for this card. I'm gonna set this guy right there so you can still kind of see him. This, I think, would make a great teacher card. This is a card that they could put on their desk and look at it all the time. You write your sweet little message right here. Teacher Appreciation Week, usually it's the first week of May, so this would be a fun design for them, for sure. And it looks scary, but it's not. I saw a friend had this one she did for a swap, and I asked her, where did you learn how to make that? And she told me where to find a video by Lisa, I always say her last name wrong, Curcio, Curcio? She's in Florida. Um, I have her information on my blog as well. Uh, which reminds me, when you're done watching this and everything's ready, be sure to check the description for my blog link for all the list of supplies and measurements. Also, if you are a stamping friend, please order from me this month using my hostess code and I will send you some extra happy mail. All right, for this card, what you'll need is three pieces of cardstock of any of your choice. I'm using the Pale Papaya, and I have it in a four by four, are our measurements for each one of these. You'll also need one piece of DSP that measures at three and three fourths by three and three fourths, cut at a half at the diagonal. Same for these guys. They've all been scored at the diagonal from one corner to the next which makes it a triangle to fold in half. I also included a basic white piece so that, that way we can write on there and that's just the same piece as that one right there. Then if you want to decorate your little corners here, you can leave them blank, but you can add some DSP, which you'll have it measured at one and a half by one and a half and you'll cut that also on that diagonal in half as well. And then I went ahead and I stamped in my clips of coral and my pear pizzazz, my peach and my little stem, and we'll attach that later to the, when we're decorating our card. And I've die cut that out with the dies. And then this is the other retiring item. This is a um, 
stitch rectangle scalloped from the Stitch So Sweetly dies, which is retiring. It's one of my favorite, favorite all time dies, and it will be gone by May 2nd or sooner while supplies last. Also, I've die cut these cute, tiny little flowers. These are part of those peach dies. It looks like peach blossoms. I love when you can make your own embellishments. Like, you see how tiny those are? And we just have them right here on our front. So I love paper embellishments because then you can make as many as you want and you never run out as long as you have paper. It is perfect. All right, for this card, you guys ready? What we're gonna do is turn this one this direction. I do like to go ahead and kind of just bend them all a little bit. So I have my creases are getting started. But you mostly want to work with it flat. So we have one going that way, and then these two are going to stay this direction. So this is a vertical on our scores, how we have that one. Let me go ahead and just kind of start to crease this one as well, using our bone folder to help us. And our last piece here. Okay. You also should have a pencil in your craft room. They are super handy to have. I usually have a mechanical one right next to me, unless a kid steals it. <laughs> what we want to do now is turn this one so that our score matches the edge of this line here. And we're going to meet our corner to our corner on the top right there. We don't want to go over the score line though. We want it to be able to bend this. Then we're going to take our pencil and just lightly make a little line right there. For this one we're going to do the same thing. We're going to match our score to the edge and line it up right here. Not covering the score line and making sure we get it almost all the way to that top so it's a TP. And do a little line there. Okay, slide those off and now what we do is grab our liquid glue. This is where our glue area is going to be. We're going to go right along the edge, a little bit in the center on both sides, and attach. So we'll slide this one back on. And we want to use liquid glue because we want some of this wiggle. We want to be able to move it just where we want it to be. That's looking pretty good. All right, do so the same thing to your other side. Making sure we're not covering that center score right here, but that our peaks are lining up. And that is it. That is how to make this TP card. Now all we need to do is decorate. Pretty crazy, huh? What I like to do is have this piece right here for our basic white. I like to have a spot that's blank. You could use DSP on this area as well and have it a fold every side of it will be um, covered with DSP. But I like to have a spot to write on, on the outside of this card. Okay, so I just went ahead and put some liquid glue on that and have it so it has a border on all three sides. Then we're gonna grab our DSP. It was hard to choose which one I wanted because there's just so many beautiful pieces. And if you don't like the, the blossom side, you could just flip it over and use a stripe side. Then we just need to line this up so that it's going to match the shape. We'll put a little bit of liquid glue on there. Make sure you get good in these corners. Sometimes those corners come off because they're just so tiny. Just maybe a dot on each one. Flip that over and line it up to your triangle there. Awesome. Same for this one. Go ahead and add a little bit of glue. Corner Dots in each corner and attach. There we go. This one we're going to keep blank. That's going to be in the inside of our teepee, and so that won't really be seen very much at all. Then we're just go ahead and add our pieces here for our corner, and this is on our bottom piece of cardstock. So that very first one that we started with, so we're attaching this one to. There we go. And I'm changing up a little bit. This one I had the polka dot side, and this time I'm using more of that blossom side. It doesn't matter, this paper all matches beautifully. So any version of it you choose to use look great. All right. I'm gonna let this all dry with this liquid glue real quick. We'll set that aside and we'll do our stamping. 
So I'm using the Balmy Blue. That's the same shade of blue that's on my DSP. So I know easily which color I want to use without even thinking about it. And then I'm going to grab my Have a Peachy Day and ink this up and put it right there and about the center. Awesome. Close up your ink and let's go ahead and add our cute little flower embellishments now, our paper embellishments. What I like to do is just put a little dab of glue, a little drop. Let me grab my take a pick tool. Grab your take a pick tool and put it on there. There we go. Super cute. And then we're gonna let this one dry. We're gonna put dimensionals on the back of that in just a little bit, or even just one dimensional would be fine. For this guy, you can either use liquid glue or you can use um, a glue dot. Let me see if I have one handy. Here we go. All right, a glue dot is what I like to use for this guy because he is a stem. I want him to pop up just a little bit and glue dots don't lay flat. So I'm gonna put it on my dot, and then you'll see that it has a little bit of overage. So what I do, let me flip it over so you can see a little bit better. See where it hangs over? I don't want it to hang, so I'm gonna just tuck it in just like that. And now there's no hanging, and my peach is ready to go. If you wanted to add extra steps to this, you can make this peach extra shiny using your Versamark and clear embossing powder, or you can use your Wink Estella and give a little bit of glitter. It's totally up to you. And this cool thing about this stamp here is that it's meant to have those different shadings with only stamping it once. It's an awesome, awesome set. All right, let me grab my dimensionals and we'll put one on the back of this guy and we'll put one on the back of this guy. Let's go ahead and close up our TP card, and that way we'll know exactly where we wanna place our decorations on here. But first, in order to close it up, we need an extra piece that is not in the Stamping Up catalog. This is an Amazon find. These are magnetic discs. So you can look at them on one side, it has a plus sign, one side is a negative side. You just need to grab one of each and put them together. On the back side, where it has that negative and plus sign, it actually has, um, adhesive on it. So you have to add any adhesive that already comes with adhesive on it. Okay, let's see if they've picked it ourselves. I should have grabbed these ones out before, huh? Let's see. One and there we go. Our lucky two. Okay, it doesn't matter which side you put on it. Let me open up this one so you can get a better idea of what it's going to look like. Okay, so how we're gonna work this one is that we're gonna close it up so this is going to go over and on top of here. So we're gonna put on this very corner, we'll remove one of the backings of our magnet. There we go. And set on the corner of this card here. Press down so it makes sure it attaches nicely. Then we're gonna take off the backing of this one There we go, and close it up. We want it to try to meet right where that score line is, right about there. Press down, and then we should be able to open up our TP card, and our TP card can now stand. Isn't that awesome? Super, super cool. All right, let's go ahead and open it. Well, actually, we're gonna keep it this way, and we're gonna turn it to where we want to put our sign. Because it changes its shape depending on which way we lay it, I'm gonna have it looking like this and add our dimensional. And it's okay if it hangs over the edges. That looks just fine and it closes off nicely. You just make sure you're not putting any adhesive or dimensionals on those score lines. Turn it and let's go ahead and add our peach to this side. We'll go just about center for this one. Super cute, look at that. All right, and that is it. We've embellished and we have it so it can close. You get Close it like this so we can send it off in the mail or snap it shut and it is ready to stand. Oh my goodness, this is such a cool card and I hope you realize that it's not as, as hard as you think and you can switch it out with any of our DSP and your favorite stamp set.
like I said, this would be a great teacher's card. It would even be a great Mother's Day card, something that they can stand up on their desk or their workspace and think of you after you write that fun little message right there. All right, you guys, I hope you've had a great time learning how to make this Sweet as a Peach card and have a great weekend. Happy stamping, everyone. Goodbye.